I just did a visual thing there. And what I did was I was looking at the uh, position of the ADX, right? Whether or not we're in a positive or negative uh, stance overall on the thing and of and and the curvature of it. And when I was looking at the monthly time frame, I could see that there was a positive layout on the uh, on the on the indicator overall, you know, in the sense of the position of the things. But we can see with regards to their direction that very much with the overall convergence uh, of them together with the uh, ADX sloping down the way here, the uh, the 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 two directional index um, prongs of this one coming together in that pincer format. That this is representing the, the strength of that trend, which was obviously towards the top side and has been during this time, has just kind of started to boil off a little bit. So on the way up here, you've got like this thing and it's uh, it's it's starting to kind of a low level, low level whistle. <whistles> bubbles as well, bubble, 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 <whistles> bubble, bubble. And then of course it goes up and up and up and up. <whistles> And when it gets to the very, very um, curvy, roundy bit, then you can consider it to be that <laughs> that happens at the end of the point when the kettle's finished boiling. Now, if you've ever boiled a kettle before, and I'm speaking to humanity here, so I suspect a fair number of you are in that percentile, you're, you're, you're going to have noticed that the noise of the thing continues to expand and gets more and more significant towards the point when, of course, it's actually boiling, right? And then when you take it off the heat, the noise of that goes away. It goes away, doesn't it? That noise, that... that... Now, it doesn't start... It doesn't go... Down the way, like it did up. Have you noticed that? Have you noticed that thing that happens in the world consistently which is one of the aspects of being a human being on planet earth with the physics and the world that we live in that we all become Im immediately familiar with um but we don't really think about it much we take this for granted well if we stop taking that for granted just a second and just think about the and then the uh, effect of when we see that curving over and bear that in mind and Sammy you've got a visual reference uh, as we go along and we're looking at ones here uh, on the way down you know it's, it's obviously uh, it's it's this is you could consider this to be like the temperature of the water is cooling down now you can still make your cup of coffee or your cup of tea here right you still can it's blue right you're good to go just in the same way that once you've been alive for say more than 20 years boiling kettles you get into this kind of little this little bit where you understand that the marginal uh, utility of every single bit of energy that you put into boiling that water tapers off uh, and has diminishing returns during that period uh, towards the 100 degrees. And actually, a funny thing with water that you also notice that is that if you were to chart out the 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 the, the way that that water goes, right, is that it's got this nice curve up in terms of you supplying energy, energy into it and the temperature of it, which is kind of the measure of that energy changing. Nice curve. Then it gets to 100 and it actually, you know, plateaus uh, for a while. The water is at the 100. You know, you can superheat water past the 100 point, but actually plateaus there as you're pumping energy into it. Um, same thing when you're freezing it, by the way, etc., and all that sort of stuff, right? So the 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 um, and that this kind of plateau of how cold ice is, you know, it goes all the way down to zero, gets to zero, and if you want to make ice colder than zero, then it's kind of harder, right? Um, and this is like what you experience then as well as you boil kettles, right? In that you know that um, that that if you were to go over to the kettle as soon as it finished boiling and make that tea. Uh, immediately like immediately because of the curve off of the energy curve in that that if you were to make that tea uh immediately then it, then you're then there's a point in boiling that water to 100 degrees but if you're actually you know living in a world where you, you don't need to do it to kill off microbes or any of this sort of jazz boiling water style and actually you just need to make yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee that the equivalent of letting the kettle boil and then sit there for five minutes is the, is is easily the same as going over and taking the kettle off a full 30 seconds to a minute before it's finished boiling you know in terms of the curve of the in terms of what you can get heat wise out of that water right you know this yourself right you are adults just check with the chat see everybody here 
is yeah yeah right yeah yeah you're human being adults i can see that out there that's cool to see so you know this about hot water right so with that in mind this is the this is this thing here and it's showing us that we can still go over there and chuck a tea bag in a cup pour that water in fling some milk in and you're largely going to have the same cup of tea experience is what you would have had at any point up here should you know you want to in terms of the strength of trend now this cup of tea uh, unfortunately on the weekly time frame at this point sammy is showing us that the of course that while we're still in that territory of being able to make one that's going to go away fairly soon and we would hope that it would because what's just happened of course is that there's been a cross between the positive and negative on this indicator showing us that of course this would be a sell signal uh, and it's a bearish signal in the markets on the weekly time frame right so there you have it um so you're hoping for this the strength of this trend to certainly taper out as we're coming in here at uh, this point going back down the way in the three day time frame you can see that there's no point making a cup of tea out of this water right you know it was cool nice ambition that you had an hour ago when you told the kettle to boil and you came back in and you've gone over and you've touched the kettle and sure enough it is hot right and you're like Meh. you know there's stuff is happening stuff is happening it's not freaking cold water straight out the tap it's it's, it's not it's not hot okay it's warm right stuff happening in there but you're not making a cup of tea out of that right you mad no way okay so uh that's what's going on over here in this one and, and at the minute it's got a negative stance right so you know you're touching it and you're like definitely not making a cup of tea out of that right that's what you've got there on that one two day time frame then it's the same sort of thing it's like you know uh not only do i know that i'm not making a cup of tea at this you can see that the line is orange here on this one um so it's got a negative stance overall in the indicator but you know the line's orange right so it's like it's showing us that not only are you not going to be able to make a cup of tea that it's it's those it's those baths that you get into you know the bath when you run a bath right there's an analogy for everything in life, you know, especially tepid water. Good to see you out there, by the way. I was not a cat and uh, Jen and Bulldog. Yeah, so there's, there's, um, so you know when you run a bath, right? And you think to yourself, I'll have that bath in whatever amount of time. Um, and you just don't get into it on time. And you know in your back of your head, you know in the back of your head, right? You know in the back of your head that it's just off that temperature now. It's just it's just, you, that if you know if you hadn't have had you know um the, the 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 delivery guy arrive or whatever else or something like that you know if that hadn't happened then you'd have been in there it'd be fine but you've been delayed by that amount and it's just like you know if you get into this freaking bath right that there's a really solid chance that you're actually just going to have a crap time now even at, at this point right you're looking at it and you're thinking well hey look it's not actually definitely cold right it's not definitely cool if i were to get one of those if i were to get one of those if i were to get one of those uh, kettles right of, of hot water over here if i were to get one of those kettles and fling it into the bath over here i might be able to bring this back into actual reasonable territory where you know uh but it, it doesn't it certainly isn't very good right continuing on down the way then and looking at what we've got here and you can see that there's us upward curve on the on the, the 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 negative one so here what we've got is a kettle that's boiling and you know that if you were to go over over towards the kettle um well it's not um at that at that ideal temperature right it just isn't at that ideal temperature you know that if it was a bath and you jumped into it you'd be going to hospital right so while you're looking at it and you're thinking i want to make a cup of tea at um at uh at incredible you know gonna kill you uh levels of of burn up there at the 100 degrees um you know that this is well this is doing well and that if you were to go over there and make a cup of tea well it wouldn't be the worst experience in your life right it certainly wouldn't be and you maybe even just think well I'll do that i'll make it and then as i'm drinking that cup of tea i'll wait for the kettle to boil and that'll be my mate that'll be my real cup of tea but i'm just having this cup of tea in between times right does that help does that help with the with with understanding this because that's curving up the way right it's curving up the way you could go over there take that off make that cup of tea you'd have an okay cup of tea wouldn't it be the best it'd be good it'd be a really good cup of tea uh really certainly more than good enough to stand there and wait for the kettle to boil 
as you're waiting to make your, your other one. 12 hour time frame showing us the same thing as the 24, etc. They, of course, span over the course of a day. Now, the four hour time frame is not showing us that story. It's back into bathwater territory where you're thinking, oh gosh, don't know what we're going to do here with this bath. The three hour time frame is like, you're not getting into that. That's a cold bath. It's, it's, it's right. It's, it's, yeah, it looks like, you know, if this was, you know, this is obviously negative, right? Um, it's, it's the, so like you, so if you were bearish on this and you wanted it, you'd be looking for this, this line to be up there in boiling water territory or whatever. It's not. It's down here in chop territory. It just isn't good. You know, you're not you're not going to need to have your uh, your 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 wetsuit on to survive in there and suffer hypothermia, etc. But at the same time, you know, there's not this isn't going to be a fun experience for you if you jump into that water necessarily. But it's there, right? It's there. Um, it's cold. Now, if you were looking to get a, to have a Russian style ice pool then you're waiting for that to happen this is a setup to have that if you want that horrible experience in your house every day you can have that with the cold water it's just it still is a bit tepid though it's a bit tepid um if this were to you know go up the way and you're looking at freezing instead of boiling then yeah sure right cool whatever right so the analogy can go so far anyway the one hour time frame shows us that very much you know we're standing there uh, enjoying that cup of tea as we wait for the kettle to boil boiling already boil 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 away make as many cups of tea as you like at that point with the awareness though that at this point with the line touching off of 40 the di here touching off of 40 this is the one hour time frame at this stage and um, what this is is actually that we're standing there and we are doing that we're drinking that cup of tea right we actually are doing that we're drinking the cup of tea and we go this all right, and we do this again. We did that twice on that line. Now, the thing about this is, is that we have to then decide at this point here, at this line just here, whether or not we actually actually even want to let the, ke the kettle finish boiling. Because if you have then, of course, lived more than 30 years in life, and you've gone through the process of understanding how a kettle boils, then gone through 10 years of understanding that you can make that cup of tea just a bit quicker. And then, of course, advanced onto the stage of knowing that you can go up to the tea, to the kettle, make your cup of tea and enjoy drinking it even while you're waiting for, you know, traditional tea makers to jump in and start making their cups of tea and you're already enjoying a cup of tea. There does get to this point in your 30s onwards where you suddenly realise, right, and it's an amazing epiphany, um, as you're standing there drinking this cup of tea, waiting for the kettle to boil, that maybe you actually you're content, you know, you're just, you're content with this quantity of tea that you've drunk at that stage, and you're drinking it, and you need you need at this point here, you you're, you're going to need to see um, the the sort of the, the the desire for multiple cups of tea to kick in. Now, this strength here is going to continue, can continue, of course, as you stand around drinking the cup of tea and the kettle, of course, is boiling, right? As the strength of it continues, as you're standing there drinking that cup of tea. Now, this is the experience that we're having right here, right now with this chart on this time frame. And while this is an extended metaphor, it probably is very, very, very close, very close to what's actually happening in terms of the prices, etc., and and this is a this is a fairly accurate way of describing the exact process that's going on with this indicator. And I'm separating out the processes of having and drinking the cup of tea with, of course, the process of the kettle itself boiling and understanding that with the with, which is the kettle boiling here, of course, is the strength of the trend. And at this point, as we have cups of drinking out of this, you know, as we see that the price has been dropping towards the downside, and this pink line represents an increase in ambition for that price to continue to drop further and further on down the way, that while we're having this cup of tea and drinking it here, that there is a sense that we could even end up being satisfied. And that while, you know, we could then make our way back over to the table, the coffee table, and we've got the cup of tea that we had when we were waiting for it to boil, we could continue to drink it. And the prices thereby, in saying this metaphor, could indeed go down to that $98 price point, for example, as you finish off that cup of tea. And when you take that last drink, and you put that cup down for the last time that you'll be drinking that cup of tea, you want to be seeing that the ADX has started to curve off and that the kettle over there is no longer boiling away. Because in the back of your head is you're thinking to yourself, I'm wasting electricity, that's money and the environment, wasting both of those things, boiling that kettle over there for a, for a cup of tea I don't even want. So you hear it boiling and then it stops boiling and you put that cup down just before it stops boiling. You put a cup down. Ah, and in the background you hear. 
And emotionally, you think, ah, that's the end of that tea making experience. And I am satisfied, right? Which would be the end of that downward movement in price. And what you'd be then hoping for would be, of course, this to bounce off of the 40 line, as it is often want to do. That's Jane Eyre, J uh, W O N T, want style. Um, then that's what you'd be looking for with this one. Now, we do have targets up above and so on and so forth. But the fact of the matter is that the kettle is boiling. We're standing there. We're standing beside it as it's boiling, drinking a cup of tea and contemplating to ourselves whether or not we want that to keep going. And every time, Every time that we've been taking, getting, getting, putting the cup up to our mouth so far, every single time we've been putting it up to our mouth so far, we've been finding that we do quite like the taste of the tea. We do quite enjoy the experience that we're having. And we've not decided at this point yet to start walking away from that kettle. We do have a nice cup of tea. Do you get the analogy? It's right there. This is exactly what's happening. And it's displayed exactly as I'm talking about in the ADX. And you will see this change. So then as we continue down the charts on the way here, looking at the way that we're drinking out this cup of tea and understanding now with a visual understanding, or at least, a, 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 you know, in your head, an imagination of what's going on here, then you might see this bouncing around at this line on the 30 minute time frame and start thinking to yourself, yes, that's that experience. And at this point here, the kettle is gone on, boiling on, getting closer and closer to making that big old whistle where it goes pshh and then fades off, getting closer to that, as you've just no, still not decided. You know, ah, you know, yeah, yeah. Because what can happen if you break this level and you're looking for how the analogy extends and you're, you've hit, you know, past 35 in life at this stage, you've been doing all of this process for a long time and you've then done that process where you've gone back over your desk, you've sat down, you've finished off your cup of tea and then you thought to yourself, you know what, actually I do want I do want a cup of tea now. It's been just 30 seconds more. Yeah, I know. I'm a fickle beast. I'm a human being. It's what we do. You learn this other thing. And that is that you can pour all of that water into a hot flask. You can pour it all in, you know. You, and then you can just immediately go back over and start making as many cups of tea as you want. As many as you want. Because you know what? You've actually discovered you can put more than enough water in that kettle. To, be, to, to make more than one or two or three cups of tea and just boil the lot up. If you've got this whole process down to an edge and then you've got the water in the flask and then you don't have to go through it again for the rest of the day. And then, then you know, that's when things can go to absolute poop. And that's what would be happening if you're looking to extend that metaphor on. But obviously at the minute here, we can see that we're just going through that process. Okay. Um, whether it ends here or now or whatever else, it kind of comes down to how you're feeling about tea at the time. As you can see here in the 15 minute time frame, though, we're still letting the kettle boil, right? As we're coming in here uh, a little bit closer, you know? And if you can consider the depth, the distance between these two lines at the minute is essentially adding up to a, a measure. As I look down the way, by the way, this is a 15 minute time frame now. Uh, and I'm looking at the, the distance between what's a pink line and a yellow line on this indicator. Uh, there's three lines primarily. One of them's blue currently, and that's what we've been talking about the strength of trend, the boiling water. Then you've got these, these, these other two. And you can think of these two as essentially being the, 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 you know, the distance between them, right? You can think of the distance between these two lines at any given time as being your desire for a cup of tea, right? And um, um, whenever they get, whenever they completely cross over again, that's when you've gone past the point of like, you know, the, the maximum not wanting a cup of tea and you're back to wanting a cup of tea again, right? Regardless of, of, of the direction, just like, so at the minute here, we're at peak, you know, satisfaction, not peak satisfaction, but we're up there at those times that you look back on and you think, yeah, if I had to choose a time in life when I've been satisfied drinking cups of tea, we're in that mode right now. That's in the width of these, we're in that mode, we're satisfied while the kettle until it continues to boil at this point price point here and this is the process that you can see visually displayed in terms of whether or not something's able to find and then create that support there but as we can tell as well if we looked at on the other on, on the charts there momentarily ago that uh, that of course every time we've had a drink of tea so far that the satisfaction hasn't you know like it's it's there you know we're still that is still it's still just ticking along nicely you know enjoying it we're enjoying the cup of tea it's one of those cups of tea we're having right now which is a, a big cup a big cup. And you know when you get to that middle section where it's the right temperature, it's the right everything, and you think, I'm really glad I made a big cup of tea instead of a regular size cup. You know those cups of tea. That's what we're having 
right now, right? And I know that everybody from the UK is perfectly following along. I hope that um, you can kind of replace these words that I'm using for whatever relevant um, drink in your particular lifestyle. So if it happens to be coffee and whatever else, then change that. Maybe just think to what I just said there is about the, the about that thing is that what we're at right now, for example, for the sort of the, the yuppie Starbucks uh, uh, segment, of the audience is this is when you've decided to order a, a, a grandy caramel macchiato and you're drinking it there and it's at that temperature where you really can drink it and you think oh i could suck in more if i wanted to and have a big mouthful and that'd be really nice i can have little sips they'd be really nice I could, and, I, and i've got this couple of inches i know in the cup here at the minute which is going to be in it around about that temperature quite nice and i'm going to enjoy the next 15 minutes or 10 minutes of having this cup of uh, coffee well i mean that would be in real life this is the 15 minute time frame so more like maybe saying to yourself well, i'm going to enjoy the next sort of 45 minutes to four hours of this thing maybe even a couple of days who knows right so this is pretty good i'm glad i ordered the grandy that's where you are with that one right so uh the five minute time frame then you can see here in the five minute time frame that actually you know starting to maybe just ask questions as these two things kind of can contract a little bit you know it's cool but we've got rick and morty style in terms of the 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 parallel nature of the two lines and while you're looking at it and you're saying uh this this what this shows you um it would be ideal if it's a bit closer together to make this analogy but um if it, but anyway what this is kind of getting towards and if it's closer together it'd be more accurate it would, it would be that point whenever you're still really enjoying the freaking cup of coffee right but you're also aware that you're going into the theater in in a while and you're glad that it's not an, a never-ending cup of coffee which is permanently attached to your hand you know so this is the point of 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 the experience where you have the existential um harmony and balance where you know that while you're enjoying what you're doing now it won't live last forever and you're happy enough with that being the case but you're still really enjoying the experience i.e this is what's going on right here and if somebody were to bust out the theater door and say don't rush everybody the theater is not opening for another 10 minutes you'd be like cool okay brilliant and those two would expand back out again you'd be happy enough and you look down at your cup of coffee and go i'm really glad i got a grandy again you know there was me a minute ago thinking maybe i should have got a, uh uh i'm really glad i got a venti uh honestly i don't drink at starbucks enough to know uh the, the differences i'm going to say that venti is the biggest and that grandy is the medium size right so then you're saying i'm really glad i got a venti but at this moment in time you're like maybe grandy would have been better doesn't mean i'm not having a good time though right uh, uh okay so uh, and then here you can see that of course what's happened is that previously you had a drink out of your cup of tea you put it down you sat down you, you, you the that the prices during this period of time did of course um you know they were descending during this phase as you were drinking your tea you're happy there you got to that point you sat down you put your cup of tea down you had your last drink out of it and you heard the kettle go a little bit and you heard the, the, the curving off of the trend thing happening just here. That's just happened here. Five minute time frame. It's just happened. This wouldn't have been the case at the start of my at the start of my long story here. That wouldn't have been the case. Now it is that we've made it back because it's taken so long to get here. And the two minute time frame again, same scenario, right? So you see this is it playing out now down here. We've got this little kind of facet again, kind of, you know, just happening a little bit where it's like you 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 look down at your hand and you think that you're running out of your drink and whatever else. And a little bit kind of thinks to you just in terms of this moment here, just inside yourself, just inside yourself, you're thinking, maybe I should have used a bigger cup. You know, maybe I should have used a bigger cup. Maybe I want a, maybe I want one more drink of tea. But you can see the kettle's boiling off and you're still more or less satisfied that um that you know you know or whatever because you know that you will want a cup of tea again in the future so it could just be in uh, in an hour or 15 minutes or whatever that you're having another cup of tea and you'll be fine with that you're at that po period where you're thinking maybe i should have got a bigger cup i don't know um and then the one minute time frame and this brings us kind of up to speed shall we say right because we've got the flash back up there 107 dollars and one cent and uh, and really you know when and if sort of so to speak that this here were to be fulfilled what we'd be saying at that point is do we want another of these cups of tea or not you know do we want one of these cups of tea do we want one of these cups of tea where we're going towards the top side do we want one of those again or uh, and do we want that across the other uh, bigger time frames etc or are we looking at, at at something else you know are we looking at something else so that's what's happening now um cool i replaced the tea with a 50, 64 ounce gas station pepsi alex oh gosh there was a temperature component though um i hope that you just enjoy 
the, you just think about it as being you know that perfect out of fridge coolness or perfect perfect the perfect temperature uh, you know the perfect temperature where the ice and everything is is at the right levels and now there's times when you'll drink that 64 ounce pepsi out of the gas station and you'll be thinking to yourself heck i should have drank this 15 minutes ago the ice is all kind of melted now tastes a little bit kind of crappy but you're still happy enough to have one anyway there's times then when you walk up and you're in the queue and you're drinking a 64 ounce gas station pepsi and it's kind of doing this thing to you right there at the time but you're thinking do i or don't i buy a fresh one you know and you know you're looking you're thinking, yeah because and then maybe instead of the instead of the, the strength you can think of it as being the temperature outside on one of those uh sort of those those Nevada days where it's um where in the summertime and it's ninety seven degrees outside and and that and you know it's maybe not well it might be and you can think about it from going out through the day like how much you're going to want that Pepsi depending on how high the sun is uh, the tea analogy was perfect says Kimmy Yo that's quality uh, the price is grievously incorrect says death of a banana fridge boom 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 Right, cool. So we'll come back and check on this in a wee while. I think I've explained uh, more or less where we are right now with this thing fairly well. And if anybody's been kind of paying attention to 